Gandhi said that whatever you do in life will be insignificant. But it's very important that you do it. Officer, those two were just trying to stop it. Go home. Hey, 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 don't. Right. I enjoy the film. Good. What started as a love story evolved into something far, far deeper. Mm -hmm. Good. I enjoy that. Was, that. that was the hope. Good. That was that the was intention. The was and it read like a book. Yeah, that was yeah. his original idea. I wrote, started it when I was Tyler's age. I was 22 when I wow. wrote it. Yeah, that was years ago. And, um, yeah, you know, I was I, I kind of learned to write writing this script, and now I've it's been film school going to watch the process of the film being made. Um, yeah, you know, this this script was came very close to my heart and and came from a place of genuine <coughs> authenticity. A lot of a lot of the characters are based around people I knew experiences. So, wow. So hopefully, I don't know if that's good or bad mm -hmm. about some of the characters, but they're, they're, <laughs> all, they they're all they're all they're all they're all composite. Which one do you identify with? Tyler. I Tyler. mean, I, I yeah, Tyler. I was constructed a lot of my own neuroses and self defeating behaviors into Tyler, <laughs> especially at that age. So I thought it was Adrian. Yeah, yeah. Aiden, Aiden is. Uh, a little bit in him too. I have a little. A little every, everybody has a little Aiden in them. Yes, you know? yes, yes. Yeah. Everybody needs an Aiden. <laughs> you never want to go out anymore. I didn't have this introvert stuff, okay? I'm ready to set an intervention here. Uh, the script came to me from Nick Osborne, the producer, and uh, uh, he had seen something I'd done, and, and so he was interested in me, and I read it. I liked it very, very much, and signed on really quickly, and then met with Will. We then. Uh, worked some did some work on the script uh, all of us and uh, and uh, then at that point we started looking for a young actor and we heard that uh, Rob was interested and um, Nick and I had lunch with him this is pre Twilight and uh, um, he was just a young guy I didn't have a clue who he was yes. and uh, sat down for lunch in L.A. and and uh, he was he seemed right and it was just instinct you know just met with him walked away and said you know what I think he can do it. We didn't know that he would be as good as he was. We th I thought, you know what, I can, get the, I can get a good performance out of this young man. And there's no question I knew I could do that. How he would turn out to be so much even greater than that, uh, I think, you know, in all honesty, and I can say it because it's not me, that I think that uh, that was a surprise, was that, that uh, he was extraordinary, I thought, and uh, what are, whereas I thought he would be extremely good. After Twilight, you could have easily said, no, I'm not going to do the film anymore. Yet yeah. he trudged on, and and, and that's commendable. It was yeah. never a question. It was it speaks to his integrity as an artist. He, does. he connected to the character and to the material, and mm -hmm. and he wanted to see it through. And, yeah, there was never a question. His commitment was us. was um, the passion that he brought to. I mean, you should have seen the script. It was marked with notes, and he was he really was, uh, he watched the dailies every day to, to deeply I, deeply serious in, in very how serious he's portraying this character. Yeah. Who are you going with? Boy from school. You're kind of lost, aren't you? You think you know me, you know? My dad just doesn't know what's going on right now. What's going on right now? It's also filled with um, great supporting cast. And he blends well with all of them. Good. Good. Right? Yeah. That's the difficulty is he has to go. What's really extraordinary about his performance is he has to be, Tyler is so many different people with all the different people in his life. He's a different person with Caroline than he is with, with, you know, with his father and with his mother. And, and Rob, if you follow him, all the way through, he's, he's he changes those subtle iterations in his in his behavior. It's really really. My favorite scene is um, the one with Pierce Brosnan and Emily in the restaurant when they first met. Mm -hmm. At the, the Plaza Hotel. Yeah, yeah, that was a great scene. It Thank popped. You. I also love all of his scenes with um, the with, little girl. With Ruby. 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 Yeah. She's amazing. She really, is amazing. Really something She's special. Quite extraordinary, isn't she? Great timing and. You know, the one, well, I'm not, I don't want to reveal it, but the traumatic thing that happened to her yeah. in the party, oh, yeah. that could have easily been kind of sort of yeah. corny. And yeah. What she said, it's funny you should pick up on that, because I was very afraid of that scene as being that it might be sort of like an after-school special. The she was extraordinary, and those were her lines that she said on the phone. She said, she just, she said I just have an idea, and I said, do it. Yeah. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, that was her. And how old is she? Eleven. Yeah. Oh <laughs> I wish I was as brilliant as her when I was oh, I, know. I, I wish I were now. Yeah. <laughs> she's as good at her job as I'll ever be at anything, and she's 11. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you so much, you thank guys. You. Good luck thank again. You thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely really interview. Appreciate it. Thank you. Someone's been trying to tell me something. Make her yours forever. And I'm working on the forever part. <laughs>